we at? What are we doing? We're at the Big O Tribute in Blacksburg, South Carolina. We're at the Omni Hotel, about to go grab some breakfast, and today's gonna be... Race day. Big race day. What happened last night? Oh, last night we got to the track, Paul went right to meet Preston as soon as he got there. What old you hook up? Got everything ready, got the motor on the car, got it all ready to go. Everything adjusted, we got the sensors on for the Micron, we got throttle cable hooked up. His setup was a little bit different, so we had to do a, a little finagling. Spend all week making this bad boy perfect, and then we're rink -a in the throttle. But I think we got enough to not have to worry about it. We fired up this morning, make sure the tune's good for the weather. Yeah, it's humid. Very humid. We might have to adjust. We'll, we'll have to adjust a little bit. It's gonna be a good show. They're estimating over 60 uh, entries in the class. Yeah and over 900 total. Looking exciting out there with all those people, all the different setups. And it's packed. And I'm sure there's more this morning rolled in. And so yeah, let's uh, head out to the Big O. Let's do it. We're rolling. Hey, so how did you meet Preston? We met Preston in 20, 2021, we sponsored Jerry Mullis for the Big O. He's in the uh, Superior Tire Group. Preston was one of the kids there. We just clicked, I think. I haven't been in kart racing in a while, but he had everything you know that I think you need. We supplied you know the motor, supplied support, being there, being able to help do the motor, help with setup, ideas. Hopefully, as a team, you'd be you know be faster for the end of the night. That's what we were there for. So I'm guessing everybody has their own different recipe for... Oh, there's so many. What's good, what works. Oh, my oil's better. If it don't blow up, your oil's fine. Oh, it's perfect. It ran just like the shop. The temperature is pretty much how we had at home. Right now, we're good. Usually, once you start getting like stuff like this, it's just about like a grenade. As soon as you fire it up, it's like pulling the pin. Yeah. yeah. You just don't know when it's gonna happen. <laughs> Firing them up is the hardest, scariest part. Yeah. yeah. Usually, once you get it running and it's running all right, you're okay. But shutting it down or starting it back up. You gotta remember this is motor is designed to be on like a, a pressure walker. 3500, 3200 RPMs, and we're turning them 10,000 plus. The track should come in a little bit faster in a little bit. How'd it feel out there? It's good. Just waiting on the racetrack to come around. Probably just tires. Making sure the tires check them, read them, make sure, you know, look for wear. But there's only so much you can do because the track's not that fast. So what does that mean when someone says the track's not fast? So in dirt racing, the track changes. It goes from like a, a wet soft to hard like concrete. And uh, right now it's still a little dusty, a little bit soft. Um, you know, once you get another... 500 go karts across it. It'll be hard, and you'll see it. It'll start turning black. It'll look good. Watch them, watch them come out of the corner. They'll leave a black line. There was no tire mark on the ground earlier.
was born and raised in Pineville. Him and my daddy grew up together. That's Wild Bill Meacham, Wild Bill from Pineville. Everybody knows Bill. <laughs> It's like family reunion. Yeah, I you know, bet. it this is. is it really is. Yeah, I heard but him yeah. mention that over the radio. He was like, "This might be the only time you guys see each other." Kind of like standing at the bathroom at the bar. <laughs> you get to see everybody. This is the perfect spot yeah. to be. Most of us have been doing this. Oh God, I'm gonna show my age. I'm gonna say 35 plus years. Yeah, so We're addicted to this stuff. We're made of fumes. We're all made of fumes. You it's an so addiction. Excited. If you're out here from 6 a.m. to Sun up. Yeah, I know. I was about to say that's a normal that. race day. Yeah. You know? So. And then do it again the next day. Up in the, in the Carolinas, we call it chicken bog, but down in Louisiana, Texas, where y'all from and everything, y'all call it jambalaya. It's still the same thing. It's got chicken, sausage, you know, brown seasoning, onions, and all that in it. You know, we cook it a little drier than y'all do up there. I mean, y'all, you know, jambalaya is wet. You know? Anybody want just chicken bog? Line up right here. She just got it up. She's to start serving. Okay. Anybody hey, my name's Dale Johnson. I'm with Big Johnson's Barbecue. We out of Johnsonville, South Carolina. Be glad to travel, go anywhere, to do wedding and corporate events, you know. Been to Texas before, been to Vine down in Houston. He got us down there before and everything. So, like I said, we can do, it's as elaborate as you want it, or we can do backyard barbecue if we can. talk about this on camera oh, yeah. because it's yeah no. so what happened me and my buddy colby we were racing up in south carolina it got over around midnight or something we went to leave and it's kind of just back roads to get there we were leaving and coming around a corner and i happened to look forward and i just seen like headlights and then bam yeah i remember everything I, colby he was he got knocked out his stuff he don't remember none of it I tried to wake him up telling my body like move my arm and i look and it's just still sitting there and i was like so I go to use my other arm, same thing. And I seen flames starting to come up out of the engine bay. And this leg was broken, so I took this leg and like stuck it on like where you would rest your arm. I stuck it up there and just like pushed myself out and just landed on my head. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Luckily, we crashed in front of someone's house, Pam and Chris. They had dragged me to the ditch. About the time they pulled him out and got him out, like, blew up. So you said you broke 19 bones? Yeah, I broke, I broke both my arms and my left leg and a couple of ribs. Right here is just like a big old steel plate, whatever. And then there's another plate here, and I have a rod from my hip to my knee. 
So how do you go from breaking 19 bones to racing five months later? What, what pushes you? It's mostly just drive, man. I've done this for now. It's coming on like 17 years. been racing these. And, I mean, really, it's all I got. Like Times when we don't race on the weekend, if I don't do something, I'm going to probably just wither away in this bed. Like, I got to do something. And so I go out in the shop and help him. We had somebody that come and like drove for us while I was reco recovering and stuff. And just seeing someone else do what you usually do, it like, it kicks you in the ass. Like, yeah. I got to get back out there and do that. Yeah. Finally, they cleared me to take the boot off, which they still kind of said to take it easy. But as soon as they said that boot was off, I was ready to I'm ready to strike out. I'm ready to go back <laughs> yeah. out there. As long as I got the doctor's blessing to do anything, I'm racing. And how'd you do at that first race? Right. We won. King, uh, King of the Midwest, right? Yeah, oh yeah, we did go, well, technically the Volusia race was my first race, but like, there wasn't a whole bunch of people there, but the, the Midwest race was like my first big, big race, and we ended up winning out there with Luke McGee and stuff. It was cool. When, when people will say that like, Carton is like close like granted you don't really talk to people on a weekend daily basis like that but like after that stuff happened man like I had so many people reach it's, out it is a, a great community oh like, yeah I, I there's people here at the racetrack that I consider family more than my own family well, what give me a recap what's uh what's been happening today man we've been racing we're doing pretty good so far about to qualify finally oh, so we're feeling pretty good. Yeah. Track's doing all right. We changed from second practice to qual. I leaned it out a hair and uh, just to get a little bit more heat, a little bit more roll, because it's only, I think, three or five laps. And uh, taped it all up. And change gearing again. we changed gearing again. We're going to try to just let her eat. 11,000 is all right with me for the qualifying, so it's just a couple of laps. And uh, I'm leaving it up to Preston from here. I think he's got what he needs. He's pretty confident right now. So the Big O is the actual Flathead race. The Big O tribute is the event. The Big O race is the open race on Saturday night. The Big O tribute is the event, the entire thing. Hello, I'm Boomer Houck. I'm with the Big O tribute, Charger Racing Chassis. You know, Otis Merritt was a big integral part of my racing success. We put this race together, Jim Sutton and a group of uh, other friends of Otis about 2009, I think it was, 15th year. So, so Otis come down with uh, cancer and we were gonna try to put one last good open race together. Bless his heart, he didn't make it. Uh, 30 days before the race, he passed away. A lot rides on this race for me because Otis meant so much to me. It's one of our last few remaining prestigious races of the year that we do. Cart racing is just a tight-knit community. Couldn't be more proud to represent Otis Merritt in the way that he deserves. So. You doing like one last idiot check? Just, just checking. Yeah, you don't want it to be that. Anything loose, anything weekend. Is that us? That's us. We're next. We're next. So we went from, I think I just asked you two minutes ago, you were like, oh, 11 or 12, 1 a.m. What time we Nine o'clock? Yeah. So we all the way up to the schedule. We will yeah, now, nine nine o'clock now. Sarah Perry for second, Tyler Seeley. Oh, Gate yeah. Owen. Oh, yeah.
So the plan is send it. Send Tighten it. up. I need space. Tighten up. Move him. facing me in the groove like I got nowhere to go so like 15 of us spin out and they're just like yeah, keep going that little bit we ran 10-1 oh really yeah so and we never, really never got even got on the speed. gas really we were gonna send it <laughs> Damn sure drive. I think overall we did good we set out to what we wanted to do at least make the show um, make the show it gives you a chance to do something unfortunately uh, a wreck happened right in front of us and there was just nothing we could do and that was it yep. it ended that fast and the, the engine did well then. engine did well still running strong at the end but she was humming she uh, it worked just like we wanted to all right so goals for next year next year a few more motors hopefully you know we got to find people that are willing to take the chance to show that you know we're not just a yard cart mini bike group but we actually can hang with the big guys. We can build just as good, I think. Prepping for next year. Already back Monday, put six little little 212s together, and uh, already thinking about next year. Yep, let's get it. <laughs>